serving will be Brown. Brad, uh, uh, Brown, uh, Sierra Brown. Waiting for it, Uyato. That ball is blocked back easily that time by Scott. Off uh, the hit by Adolfo. And it's now 15 to 11. They were waiting for Adolfo that time, that's for sure. Good block. That ball is hit out. Hit out by Brown. She grimaces. 16 to 11. I want you leading in this third set. Ginger Long getting ready to serve for Hawaii. Just over the net, saved by Ziegler. That ball comes over. There's Emily Harton chased down by Uyato. Harton hits it, blocked back, saved again by Harton. And that ball is hit by Castle. Castle hits it into the block. And that's a point for New Mexico State. Castle still having her trouble. They've showed you out repositioning her. Ball comes over. There's Long. Uyato. Adolfo. Adolfo puts it into the body mix that developed in the, in the back part of the court going after that. 17 to 12 for what you leading. Well, Clay Adolfo's gotten so good at the step out maneuver. She can hit it cross court like that. She's also got the line shot. She also hits in front of the center. She's become so versatile over the course of the last year. And certainly playing basketball, I think, was really good for her game as well. Currently, Lele Pali will come in for Adolfo in the front row. There was a, there was a substitution error, I guess. And I'm not sure. I think I think Lily Polly and Adolfo did not. That ball is twirled in to the court, but out that time by Scott. And Lily Polly goes off the court. There was a mistake there, and Hawaii escaped. I'm surprised that they didn't have their points taken away from them because they had the wrong player in. Back up by Ziegler, saved by Umi Ate, and a back row attacker has been called, and it's now 19 to 12 in favor of Hawaii. And calls another timeout. Let's take a look at the mid petroleum leaderboard. This is for Hawaii career blocks Suzanne Agi, Angelica Jungquist, Cecilia Goods, Dietra Collins, and Juliana Sanders. There really should be two lists there because. Juliana Sanders was the only one in the rally scoring era, so she played shorter games during her era. Ball hit over by Coates. Dug up by Longo. Uyato. Hartung. That save. They try to get it to Coates again. Double hands it over. Hartung is there. Step out. Adolfo. And that's in. And Hawaii gets to 20. And we're close now. Ali Longo again coming up with a crucial dig in the middle of that rally to give her hitters another chance to swing for a point. Kayla Goodman has come into the front row along with Adolfo. That ball served by Castle comes up and is just hammered down by Emily Hartong. Away on a five point run. Ball is served, dug up by Ziegler. Outside to coach, hits it into the antenna. That's a point for Hawaii. And it is 22 to 12. Three points from celebration. Three points away from milestone victories. Three points away from the acme, the apex. Ball is hit over by Castellanos. Hartan. Hartan seems to be escorting this team toward 1,106 wins. And what a beautiful back set by Ali Longo that time. Ball is over by Castellanos, and that's blocked back and down, and it is now 24 match point. 
24 to 12 in the third set against New Mexico State. This crowd rises, and not just for the match, not just for the set, but for 1,106 victories in the 39-year career of Dave Shoji. Ball comes over. Goodman. In the air by Adolfo. They try Emily Hartung. Not yet. Ball hit over, and a great diving leap that time by Higgins. Higgins again. Goodman, little push. And that comes back over. Goodman with the save. Higgins outside. Emily Hartung. And no, didn't go over the net. Not yet. You got to credit New Mexico State for hanging in there, being tough. Giving the Wahine all they could handle. Even Hartung couldn't end that rally. 1,106 at stake. Saved by Higgins. Goodman cannot keep it over on the Hawaii side. That is another point for New Mexico State. It is 24 to 14. Hawaii has much wiggle room, of course. They lead by 10. This crowd awaiting the moment. Serving it over is Lurch. Goes to Hartung. That is saved. Hartung again. That's blocked back and down. 24-15. Game shows you off the bench. Whispers something to Higgins. I think he's saying, maybe lay off Emily here and set somebody else. Hartung's had four of the last six sets. Lurch serves again. Hartung, Uyato, and that ball is hit off the block. That ball goes out. That's the point. And Dave Shoji has 1,106 career wins, tied with Andy Banikowski of UCLA. A grand moment. Let's go to Dash. Thank you, Jim. I was just waiting because I was wondering if you were able to hear Billy V make the announcement and alerting the crowd that Dave Shoji with that victory got victory 1,106. I was going to kind of hold that for my last question, but I guess we need to address it front and center. I know it's something you'd probably rather not talk about, maybe until tomorrow or the next day. Well, we, we want to talk about a win, not necessarily total wins. We want to win tomorrow night. Yeah. What was the mindset of this entire weekend coming into last week, knowing that you had the big gun, Texas, in the number one spot? This week, UCLA in the number three hole. A little bit of a different vibe. Well, we wanted to get some energy going tonight because we didn't feel like we played our best on Sunday and just kind of recharge because it's going to be a long weekend. And, you know, I didn't want to come super high tonight. I thought we just needed to play steady, and we did that tonight. So. We accomplished that. I think tomorrow night it'll be a little more excitement, and uh, you know we got to crank it up as the weekend goes on. Sometimes coaches will say that an early season loss is something that builds character, that makes a team better. What did you learn, or how did you folks build Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, leading to tonight? I never believe that losing is ever good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think so. <laughs> but um, yeah, we just I understood that we had some work to do, and so we did go back to work. Practices were spirited, and. Uh, they weren't real sharp, but they were spirited. And so we just needed to get back to some basics, and, uh, and hopefully we can play really oh, better against a really good team in uh, Santa Clara and UCLA tomorrow and the next night. Finally, I think I read something last week where you said in the paper that if you beat Texas, you would send a limo to pick up Andy Banikowski. One, is he coming? And two, are you sending a limo? Well, I was going to send the limo if we had beaten San Diego because he <laughs> was going to arrive. He arrived at 5 o'clock today, and it didn't happen. And he joked with me. He goes, I guess cancel the limo, Dave. But he will be here tomorrow night, and uh, it's special to have him here for me. It'll be a special night for everybody. Congratulations on number 1,106. Head coach Dave Shoji celebrating yet another Rainbow Wahine victory. Back to you, gentlemen. 
Okay, let's uh, take a look at the Bank of Hawaii and the players of the match. Bradley Nash had six kills, hit 316 for New Mexico State. Emily Hartung yet another time, 13 kills and uh, nine digs. And this one memor memorable because it gets to the apex. It gets to the, the top of the mountain. And that the Dave Shoji has his two fists over the top and he's lifting himself up and he is tied with Andy Banikowski, who is sitting up there at the top of the mountain, you know, in his, <laughs> in his, in his, in his little uh, uh, godlike structure overlooking the world of volleyball. And Russ Rose quickly chasing <laughs> after him as Russ, well Russ, from Penn State. But he's still dealing with the rocks, <laughs> that, that, you know, that come down. No, it, uh, it 1,106 is nothing uh, to really make fun of. I mean, you can you can say it's a it's a great thing, and it is a great thing. It took 39 years. I mean, it's like it's like building a bridge of toothpicks. I, I will know? tell you something, Dave. All he can think about right now is Santa Clara. He watched Santa Clara play tonight. He saw how close they came to upsetting UCLA. Should have taken it to five, had set point in the fourth set, and let it go. He knows that the Santa Clara team is really good. UCLA's ranked number 10 right behind the Wahine. So he knows the next two nights are going to be tough. So I think the last thing he's thinking about is celebration, Banikowski, the mountain. He really wants to win tomorrow night. He knows how important RPI is, these preseason victories. Because once he gets into the Big West, he's going to lose, uh, lose all that RPI leverage that he has in the preseason. You really think that he doesn't think about it? Come a on. little bit, yeah, a little well, bit. Maybe on. when he saw his picture in the paper this morning. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the uh, schedule uh, at the uh, American Savings Bank upcoming schedule. Uh, tomorrow night will be Santa Clara, uh, and if Hawaii wins. That means uh, that their coach uh, will be the winningest coach in the history of college volleyball for women. Dave Shoji, that's tomorrow on Saturday. And it's another UCLA match. And every UCLA match carries its own excitement, its own brilliance, its, its own shining moments. And that'll be on Saturday. Then on September 12th, 13th, and 14th, yet another tournament. Portland State, the Vikings come in. Then uh, Wildcats appear all over the place, Northwestern and Arizona. And then on September 19th, the South Dakota Coyotes, and that is on the road. So it, it was three sets. It had its moments. But again, he goes and lets everybody play here. You wonder, what is he looking for? Is he still looking? Has he settled? Uh, I don't know. I think he's settled. I think the reason he, he let other people play is that, number one, I, I think he – I was surprised he didn't pull Hartong out, to be honest with you, because she's the one who really needs the rest more than anybody. But to have him give uh, Ashley Castle some time, give Ginger Long some time, I think that's important over the long haul of the season. They need to get early quality moments in the preseason. You think he has found uh, the support for Hartung? Because you have made the statement, they can't just depend on Hartung. It's got to be something else. Little by little, it's happening. But it's not there yet. I think the middles need to get more, be more involved in giving Hartung assistance. And I, see, I think the second... Uh, left side player is going to get better, and Nikki Taylor as well has got to step up, and then Hartong will have the complete cast around her. 1,106, number nine Hawaii over New Mexico State, 25-17, 25-23, 25-15. Stay tuned now for the post-game report.